Hello, my name is Nora Hofer. I work in the Security and Privacy Group at the University of Innsbruck in the Austrian Alps. Today, I have the pleasure to explain our Neurops paper. In a nutshell, we study how and why neural network frameworks miscalculate. Let's assume you have a trained model and use it to make inference. You take a test sample, process it layer by layer and obtain a softmax vector that is cast to a single class. We expect that this process is the same regardless of which hardware you use to perform the computations. However, this is not true. My co-author Alexander Schlögel and colleagues have discovered this two years ago. They used nine different CPUs and found that depending on the machine learning model, the tested platforms produce up to six different softmax vectors. Of course, these deviations appear random and are very small, hence they rarely affect the final class label. However, it is possible to craft input samples that are classified to one label on one platform and to a different label on another platform. This is surprising and also somewhat worrying. Initial evidence has been published in the signal processing and forensic community, but the study was limited to a handful of CPUs. It did not consider GPUs and it did not yet investigate the causes and potential mitigations of the numerical deviations. This is where our Neurips paper makes its contributions. We offer the so far most comprehensive evaluation of causes and effects of numerical deviations in CNN inference. This table reports our main result for 75 different platforms hosted on two commercial clouds and on-premise. Note that all platforms run exactly the same software and use exactly the same train model. We count the number of different outputs in the rightmost column. The AMD-based CPU systems in the first two rows produce exactly the same output. We say they form one equivalence class indexed with one. The system in the third row produces a different output, hence we assign equivalence class two. The next system reproduces this output exactly, hence it falls in the same class and so on. If we fast forward to the bottom of the table, we see that 75 platforms produce up to 26 different softmax outputs. However, the figures at the bottom are marked with an asterisk. It indicates that the platforms do not even produce the same result in every session. We discovered that this behavior is typical for GPUs, but couldn't observe it for CPUs. You might ask, why is this happening? I'd refer you to read the paper for all detail and explain our main insights here. On CPUs, the order of aggregation is a major cause of deviations between platforms. Recall that floating point operation is not associative. This means if you calculate A plus B plus C, you may get a different result than by calculating B plus C and then A. Now, as machine learning stacks are heavily optimized, they make use of parallel processing features offered by CPUs, such as multiple cores or SIMD instructions. All of these features can alter the order in which values are aggregated when computing convolutions, leading to different results depending on the optimization the hardware supports. The indeterministic behavior of GPUs has a distinct cause. Typical machine learning frameworks access GPUs through accelerator libraries. These libraries implement many different variants of convolution algorithms. Since it's not known beforehand which algorithm is fastest for a given problem dimension, GPUs run microbenchmarks to select the fastest algorithm at runtime for every convolution layer. If two or more leading algorithms are very close, which one is going to win the race may depend on random factors. As a result, the sequence of algorithms chosen to evaluate all layers of a neural network may differ between sessions. My co-author Alex has built infrastructure to visualize this algorithm selection per layer. Each plotted line corresponds to a session. We can also annotate at which layer deviations occur and how they propagate. For example, the single equivalence class at the first layer forks out into three. The fourth equivalence class appears after layer five and we observe no further deviations thereafter. Clearly, our findings have implications for machine learning engineers who want to test system correctness with reference values, for researchers concerned with replicability, 
for security and forensics and for society at large. After all, an automated decision affecting people should not depend on what hardware has been used to evaluate a model. With this, I thank you for your attention, encourage you to read the paper and check out the code, and I would be more than happy if you get in touch at the conference or through our lab's website.